Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a classic conundrum. Do I have enough runway? <laughs> and what is the point that I gotta hit the brakes? So what we have today is a lovely Beechcraft Baron in this very very short 1800 foot runway. With, for the record, uh, Flight Sim does not do justice how terrible the condition of this runway really is. It is basically, you, you think you broke the plane when you land on it. This is Ellington Airport, by the way. So we have ourselves uh, 1,800 feet of runway. I'm looking down the end of the runway. And we have ourselves a big twin-engine powerful plane. We should have no difficulty. So the general rule of thumb when taking off is if you get to the halfway point of your run and you're not 70% of the speed you need to be in order to get airborne, abort the takeoff. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to zoom my head out just a teeny tiny bit, and we're going to estimate where the halfway point is. And the halfway point is going to be right here. So we have one, two, three, four of these little handy-dandy lights on the side of the runway. So let's go ahead and jump inside and see if we can identify exactly where that is. It's one, two, three, four. So if we are not at 70% of our speed by the time we hit this dot, we have to abort our takeoff. So uh, what is our magical takeoff speed on this particular aircraft? Now you can see our rotation speed is 85. So let's get out our calculator, 85 times 0.7. We need to be 69 by the time we hit that dot right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, see what happens here. So apply full power, make sure my RPM's all the way up, and let's go! All right, so there's our first one. There's our second one. There's our third one. There is our fourth one. That's enough speed. Let's go! Now you can see that we almost lost it there. You know, the only way we actually were able to get away with something like that is because we have an aircraft that was a relatively lightly loaded. Um, of course, uh, what we should have done is immediately aborted the actual takeoff and not even dared to try something like that. But unfortunately, we are a bit light today. So um, let's change the weather a little bit and see what happens. All right, so same scenario again. Now uh, we have our aircraft. Um, it looks a little hazy this morning. I wonder how warm it is outside. We should probably take a look to make sure we're not going to have any difficulties as far as the temperature goes and uh, takeoff conditions. But, ah, 35 Celsius. Woo, that's a nice toasty day. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to count off the little markers, and uh, we're going to be a little bit more foolish this time and see what happens. Go ahead and push that throttle all the way forward. Release it. Oh, whoa. Looks like we have some center gravity issues, too. We have one. We have two, we have three of our markers, and we have four of our markers. And that's about 59, so that must be enough to get us going. Okay, we're going to make it happen here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, no, no, no! Ah! Oh. All right, so let's reset all that and see what happens here. So, same scenario, um, still kind of that hot and hazy day here. And uh, while we're fully loaded, everything's uh, looking pretty good. But this time, let's actually abort the takeoff and see uh, what everybody's very, very curious in seeing here. So I'll go ahead and apply full power. We're going to release it. And off we go. Vroom. Oh, this thing does not like that at all. <laughs> here we go. One. Watching my airspeed. Two. Three. It's 45. Nope. And we made it. So now a couple things that you probably noticed there is, uh, first of all, my CG was still a little busted. That's a great example. But I want to show you that when we aborted that takeoff, look at how little room we had remaining. We basically have a couple hundred feet ready to go. And that was maximum braking. As you saw, I really tried to stink down as hard as I could, which actually made the plane less controllable. Now, if I wasn't as quick with my feet there, that could have been really bad for us. We could have looped and gone right off the runway as our two individual brakes were locking up. So what are our takeaways here? Uh, first of all, um, just because it looks like you can doesn't necessarily mean you can. Second of all, if you are going to put yourself in a situation where you think you're not going to have enough runway, if you're not at 70% of that takeoff speed by the time you hit that halfway point of the runway, you've got to abort that takeoff. And when you do go to abort that takeoff, make sure you apply everything smoothly and don't delay the decision. If you try to delay the decision, it's going to cause you all sorts of problems. And like I said, had I not made that decision sooner, we would have ended up over here in the grass like you saw, or we would have ended up overshooting the end of the runway and ended up over the grass, but in uh, probably slightly better shape than had we had done that that way. Enjoy.